Hey everyone, I am so excited. Today I'll be showing you all how to make your very own Procreate brush using the Procreate app. So today we'll only be using three things, the iPad Pro along with the Apple Pencil and the Procreate app. Let's get started. I now have the Procreate app open along with my iPad and Apple Pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you all select this button right here, which is the brush folder. So when you go ahead and select that, it brings out this whole brush library, left-hand side stores. Um, it has all the different brushes that come with the Procreate app, brushes also that you may have downloaded in the past. So on the left-hand side here, I'm gonna have you just scroll down and we're gonna now select that plus symbol with that blue box around it, just like that. So this is where we're making our own folder for these brushes. So for this example, I'm gonna call it lettering brush. And the reason why we wanna make sure that we're storing our brushes in a specific folder is because in the past I've done this where it was like, I was in a different uh, brush folder, like at default, and I didn't realize what folder I was in. So after making the brushes, I couldn't find them anymore. So this is a better way for you just to kind of navigate and see where the brushes are being stored at. So after you make your folder, I'm gonna have you select now the plus symbol right here. And now this is where all the magic is gonna happen. We're all, all over here. So for this process, we're gonna be tackling a couple of things, the shape source along with the grain source. And I'll go more into depth about that. But for the first thing, let's go ahead and rename our brush. So just tap that top part and rename it however you'd like. I'm gonna call it test brush just because we're just experimenting and seeing how it's gonna work out. Now we're gonna go ahead and select done. So for the shape source, um, it may be in a future video, I can show you all how to make your own shapes and import that as your brush. But for now, let's go ahead and just click on the Swap from Pro library, and it's an amazing library. This library already comes with the Procreate app, but it has all the different like shapes that you can use along the different like textures and feels. So for this example, let's actually select this one, the oval shape right here. So I'm gonna select that for my shape source. So every time you make a brush, it's important to have a grain source. Either it's gonna be like a full textured background or like a white solid background. So for this example, we're just gonna choose that white background. So clicking on the Pro Library again. Now we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down. And when you start going lower in the library, you'll notice that it has like those full size screens uh, with the background. So we're just gonna choose that first one you see right here. And basically after you selected the shape source and grain source, it will automatically default and go to the first uh, um, the first like page here, which is a stroke. We're just gonna quickly go back to the stroke, uh, the source area. So it's like the far right hand, or yeah, far right hand corner right here, just to make sure we're all on the same page. So shape source was oval, grain source is a solid white background. So now we're just gonna navigate through the different folders of the brush. This is just a way to change the settings and a way to um, understand what's happening with the brush and if there needs to be any changes made. So the first um, screen next to sorts on the left hand side is general. So I'm going to go ahead and just scroll through really fast and I'm actually liking how everything is. So I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to now move over to the pencil folder, which is right here. So this is where pretty much all the magic happens in terms of making that specific lettering brush. So for this example, for the Apple Pencil Pressure, we're gonna go ahead and see if we were to increase the size, what would happen with the brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size and you'll start noticing that the edges become a lot more narrow and the middle part stays, um, like it still has like that same thickness. And this is where you can determine that this is gonna be a lettering brush just because it's gonna be sensitive to the pressures. So for the size, I'm gonna go ahead actually increase it all the way to the max. I wanna make sure the edges are a lot more thin and then the middle section right here is gonna be a lot more thick. So now going to the other sections, I'm actually gonna leave everything else alone and just move forward to the other folder. So dynamics, you don't really have to touch anything here for this brush, along with the grain and shape. So everything else, is, I'm just gonna leave it alone. 
But now for the stroke, let's go ahead and now kind of focus on a couple of things. Um, for the stroke properties up here, I'm gonna go ahead and actually decrease the spacing. So just eliminate that, but I will increase the streamline. And the streamline basically allows you, when you're lettering, you'll start noticing that your Apple Pencil is gonna start dragging with every stroke that you create. It's just, um, it's like an interesting thing, but um, the way it drags to like every motion you're doing, it also smooths out those lines for you as well. So let's go ahead and test out this brush and see how it feels. I'm just going to change my color really fast and let's give it a try. So I'm going to write hello and then you'll start noticing that it is really thick. So if it's super thick, all you have to do is on the left hand side, it says um, this, is, this area is going to be your brush size. Just go ahead and decrease that to maybe about like 20% and you'll see that it's going to make like a huge change so basically this is not as thick as it was the first time if you still want it to be a little bit thinner I'm gonna actually go down to about 10% okay so I'm gonna go ahead and write the word hello and see how it looks so I'm okay with the pressure points it looks great um, so with this example I know I mentioned I put at 10% for the brush size right here um, I also have it at the canvas size um, eight and a half by 11 in inches yeah, well, there you have it. Yay, loves, we did it. We made our very first Procreate brush together. You should be so proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I hope it answered questions that maybe you were curious about, questions on getting started and using the Procreate app itself. Feel free to comment below if you have any specific questions. I would love to respond and just kind of interact with you. Um, but today I challenge you all to make five different Procreate brushes. Feel free to let me know what brushes that you're making. Uh, feel free to tag me in Instagram stories. So I would love to see them. But I just thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait for the upcoming tutorials that we'll be launching in, in the next couple of weeks. So I'll see you then. See you in my next video. Bye.